Right then, boys and girls, the MGTD, which I might as well start off by saying are fantastic value for money at the moment. They really are. Now, we've done endless TDs over the years in fact we had a bit of a production line going at one stage where we were they were coming in from the states and we were converting them to right hand drive five speed type nines new obviously new interiors because the interiors were always shot the interiors were always shot the windscreens were always broken uh, the panels were always straight but more in, more importantly the wood uh, and the actual chassis were really good other than that, everything needed replacing. But on the replacement note, you can get everything um, within reason. 99.9%. .9%. You struggle with some engine internals, I believe. That is still the case. But other than that, any service items, bits and pieces, hoods, trims, frames, everything makes them so easy to use. So Paul's obviously uh, put the hood up so we can just see what we've got. Obviously an older hood. I'm sure you'll agree, but serviceable. That would clean up and probably colour, wouldn't it? That would probably take some colouring, I would think. So that's what we've got. Side screens are in there. Look, they're a newer material or non-faded. I mean, they're almost exactly the same as the inside of this hood, so I assume this one's just faded. We have got a very nice near-new tonneau cover. And nine times out of ten, that's how they use, isn't it? They use with the hood down and you, and you pop the tonneau cover across, excuse me. Uh, either when you park up um, or if you have a little bit of uh, bad luck in some rain make the best of it half the time don't you anyway um, dash wise I'll take you around as I can as, as I go as I see things steering wheel belts and bits and bats nothing drastic on there bit of play on the hinge more than anything else I think door shut quite acceptably there's a bit of a trick involved to getting the door shut like a golf. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of work involved to get the door shut like a... Well, that's good. No, that's, that's, yeah, that's acceptable. If you've, if you've already been and seen a few MGs, you will regard that as being acceptable. They're a little bit like the Triumphs of this world uh, when it comes to door shuts. Um, you know, Triumph, any Triumph, especially Heralds. Uh, you can climb in most Heralds, can't you, without actually opening the door. XPAG engine, which are good, sweet little motor. Hopefully someone's taken some photographs of the two plates for you. If not, there's one and there's the other. Obviously you can pause the video and take the information off. Little toolbox. Oh, a nice little tool kit in there as well by the looks of things. We'll shut that up and leave that in there. So what we ought to do while she's, while I got the bonnet up, Crank her up. Oop, not that one then. <laughs> that one. There you go. It's all right, isn't it? Put some fresh oil in it if I was if it was mine. A little bit dirty that. But there she is, ticking over nicely. I won't shut that down yet, I'll just leave that ajar. That's level isn't it in there? As I touched on when I first started the video. They are good value for money at the moment, and by that I mean these were 20k upwards. They're now not. Um, they're now anything from 10, 11 will get you an entry level. Once you start getting mid to late teens now, you get a lovely car, which makes them such good value, doesn't it? Really, really good value for money. An iconic little British sports car, really. My father's had two, as long as I can remember, since I was born. And uh, the red one in particular, old English white and a red one, funny enough, this is obviously a bit of both. Uh, but yeah, one that colour and one that colour. And uh, oh, 
we're very fortunate to have a quite a sizable collection of cars and the one car he got out repeatedly summer after summer after summer was the MGTD which sort of says something I suppose isn't it especially if you knew what else was in the collection but anyway there you are guys that's my take on it but don't take that for gospel please come down have a look do your own checks make sure it meets your expectations and standards and everything else I've just given you my appraisal of the car just as a guide next step obviously would be to come down and like I say take a viewing